Hi, this is Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to run through how to use the markup simplifier that is part of the Power Tools for OpenXML project on CodePlex. To use the markup simplifier, first go to powertools.codeplex.com, click on the Downloads tab, download HTMLConverter.zip. Markup simplifier is part of that project to keep it so that we have only one set of source code for markup simplifier I'm leaving markup simplifier in there as opposed to making a separate markup simplifier project extract everything in the zip file. I'm now going to create a new Visual Studio project. Add references to the OpenXML SDK and Windows Base. Copy markup simplifier pt openxml util.cs pt util.cs and revision acceptor.cs. We don't need HTML converter or list item retriever. Add all of those to the project. Now I'm going to go create test.docx. So now I've created a document that has a proofing error. Now let's take a look at the markup that we want to simplify. To look at the markup, I'm going to use the OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool for Visual Studio 2010. I'm going to drag test.docx to Visual Studio. Once you have that Power Tool installed, then you can drag and drop documents, OpenXML documents on there, and then look at them. I'm going to open document.xml. When it opens, it isn't formatted, it isn't indented, so I am, first of all, I'm going to go over here and in Tools, Options, I'm going to go to Text Editor, XML, and Formatting, and I am going to say Align Attributes each on a separate line. I prefer that approach, and then I am going to go here and Format Document, and here we can see the proofing errors in the document. Further, you can see that there are two runs that are separated. Let's close this document. Let's run the program. And now let's look at the document. you can see that the run has been merged and the proofing errors have been removed.